In this video, I'm going to go over question 6 from the May 2015 IB Math SL exam, time zone 2. And this is a calculus question as well. It's the third calculus question in a row on this paper. Um, and this has some additional information too. So this is a classic IB question in that you have to read and pay attention to the information that's given and figure out what you're meant to do with it. So first we're given a function that has some variables in it f of x equals ax to the third, so some coefficient times x to the third, plus bx, some coefficient times x. Uh, ultimately, we're going to be asked to find that a and that b, and we have enough information given to us that we should be able to figure out exactly what they are. Uh, first piece of information given. At x equals 0, the gradient of the curve of f is 3. Gradients of curves should remind you of derivatives. Okay, so if you're ever reading on an IB exam question, gradient of a curve, gradient of the function, um, you should not be thinking of m, the slope, in terms of y equals mx plus b, or rise over run, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You should be thinking of derivatives first. There might be questions that are asking you about gradient and expecting you to use um, traditional linear slope formula, um, but gradient of a curve that's not linear, we're talking about derivatives here. So what information we're told is that at x equals 0, the derivative is 3. So it is not going to work to plug in 0 for x and set the function equal to 3. It is going to work to find the derivative, so f prime of x, and it's a gentle power rule derivative. Bring down the 3. There's already an a there because we don't know what that coefficient is. Reduce the power by 1, and the derivative of bx is just b because b is a, con a coefficient, like a number. Uh, so there's our derivative, and now I know that at x equals 0, this is equal to 3. Okay, so I've changed x to 0, I've set it equal to 3, and I should have enough information here to actually solve for b. Um, had it not been 0, you might have had enough information to at least simplify it and have an equation with a and b in it. But here, it's 0. That means this whole term is 0, and 3 equals b. All right, we're halfway there. That was worth 4 out of the 8 points in this question. And then they're giving us another piece of information, I haven't even read yet, that says, given that f negative 1 of 7 equals 1, so this is the other piece of information, um, there's a lot of information right there. So that negative 1, when it's sandwiched between the f and the x in an f of x, is not an exponent, and it is not the same as prime. Okay, that f negative 1 means the inverse of f. So the inverse of f would mean on your f of x function, switching x and y. So there are several ways to go about doing this question. You could actually take the function, which was given, f of x, rewrite it as y, and switch x and y, the letters, and then work with this. Or you can realize that what this means. I'm going to write this as kind of clever. What this means is that when 7 is used for x in the inverse, you agree that's where an uh, x value would go, then 1 is y, right? So when 7 is used for x in the inverse, then 1 is y, which means that when 1 is used doesn't like this corner of the board. 1 is used for x on the original function, then 7 is y. So what I've done there is switched the 1 and the 7 rather than switching the x and the y in the function, and that would allow me to use the original function. When 1 is used for x, 7 is y. So I can go back up to the original function. I'm going to erase everything that's not necessary now. And I can replace 1 for x and 7 for y. So it's a little sneak around there that if you're given information about the inverse, whatever they've given you as x and y on an inverse, you can make that, if you switch them, y and x, right, on the original function. So you can now plug in what you know for b, because we got it as 3. This is just 1a. This is 3 times 1, which is 3. Subtract 3 and 4 equals A. And that's it for this question.